cord here is if you're all paying Alex, attention. Alex, in the box. Can you come in, please? I'm talking, what? <laughs> 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 the side cars are about the point. Pauline's just been in. Wait, if they look for her, she's going to stand back off the track a little bit because the track is round. And in her safety, she is going to stand back a little bit off the track. So make sure they look for the last lap flag and the finishing flag. OK, my love? They all heard that. <laughs> right, now, what I'm going to the, the point system for the um, for build base. Today, the ray, uh, the meeting, all all um, races count as points. The, the final of the day is a straight final. So whoever wins the final of the day is, is the final. But the championship points count. So if you... The, the points on the heats and the final count, they're all seven points down to one, but every, every race that you're racing counts the championship, except the main final of the day is a straight final. The okay. points still count. Pardon? The point, points still. Yeah, the points count all through, but what I don't want people to say is, you know, you, the, the top six who go over the line are the finalists of the day, for the you know for the not meeting, the winner, but the not the me you know, but all the but the points from the the actual no. um, final go are added on to the um, the, to the championship. The, the only reason I've said that is because we haven't had any um, finals <laughs> for two meters. Hopefully this will. <laughs> so um, is everybody happy with that now? So because like last year I had a right pigs of ear made of it, but never mind. Hopefully it'll work all right now. All right, now everybody knows. So the top three across the line in the final are the, the, the first, second and third of today. Yeah, but, but everybody gets paid down to sixth place anyway. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. What do you say, Chris? Points for the servants. What do you say? Points for the servants here, so I've Yeah. No, you, your, yours is... Um, Seven and seven, they get they get marked. No, he's in the championship for the thing. Yeah, yeah. What, what, you... what I was wondering as well, if I rode two bikes today, I could both have points. No, you only get one. So you're doing a Yeah. So if if Tom and me win all our races then Technically, he might be catching up with me because well, I, don't, I don't get the... No, he only gets it on his highest score of the day. He doesn't get it on the three rides. He's, going, he's doing three rides. It's only his top right, his top right that puts scores across the thing. Okay. Then. Okay. Right. I'm here with newly crowned British Masters sidecar champion Mark Cosser. Mark, is this your first ride back right, since winning that Masters title? It's the first grass track meeting, yes. So you've done a speedway, I gather. Um, how did your first speedway back go? Surely it was a big celebration. Uh, yeah, well, actually, it was easier. It was down at Plymouth, so there was sort of no pressure, if you know what I mean. Excellent. Um, so you've missed out on any speedway titles to go with that Masters title. Um, so uh, look at now at the end of the season, next year, are you looking towards... Uh, Defending your Masters title, or are you looking for that Speedway title as well, or would you like to win it all next year? Yeah, both. Yeah, so depending what Speedway Rise runs next year, obviously want to win the Masters again and win whatever Speedway runs. Yeah, that's interesting that you say that because a, a lot of people have said about the Sidecar Speedway is it's, it's there's a sort of underground. It's more of an underground sport at the moment. It really needs to flourish, and you're what somebody that really goes for it. Um, do you can you see the Sidecar Speedway carrying on and flourishing, or can you do you think it's just going to die out? What do you think? Uh, I think there's a there's a change on the horizon, uh, which could be good. So we'll just have to wait and see what happens next year and possibly the year after. Excellent. Now, if we can just move to today, um, you've been out for practice. Uh, Brother Tom's on again today. How did practice go for you today? Nightmare. We've got a major misfire, so we've just changed carbs. We're going to try and get a late practice to see if it goes. So. Uh, big change from uh, the Masters then, that's a shame to hear. Um, so you've, have you had some fast racing laps on the track um, and what did you think of it? Yeah, the track's good, it's fast flowing wide turns so it should be a good day if we can get it running right. Excellent, well I hope you do get it running right Mark and uh, obviously it's good to see the British Masters champion at a um, Worcester Club meeting. Good luck for today and hopefully everything will go well. Right, cheers mate.
We need to start this one and see what happens. Okay. Okay, we're here with uh, Matt Fumarola and Andy Wilson, sidecar crew. Uh, Matt, I've just been speaking to Bob, and Bob's seen you out uh, in practice, and he thinks you're absolutely flying. Did practice go well for you? Yeah, it went very well today. Uh, all year we've been changing things every meeting, and uh, we've altered a, again, altered us something a little bit more this week, and everything seems to fit. Uh, I'm more comfortable on the bike, Andy said he's more comfortable, and, and I think that may have showed in practice, you know, why we're going so well. Excellent. Now, uh, Andy, it's a strange track in the fact that the corners are very big and the uh, straights are very short. How does that affect you as a passenger? Oh, it's ideal. I mean, that's the kind of track we like to ride. We, we really struggle when we get to these tracks where you've got mile-long straights and airpin bends. This, it's just, it suits our riding style. It's, it's quick. It's a lot. You're staying down a long time, basically. I mean, that's that's the big thing as a passenger. If you get up too early, you through the through the, the ropes like it's, it is really well set out for for thousands. Excellent. Now I think it's um, remarkable. We should point out that the Worcester Club had a a bit of a disaster of a, a meeting earlier in the year, and they've really turned it round here. And it's your local club, so it must be pleased. You must be pleased that a big club, a uh, good club, um, is running such a good meeting. Um, the Worcester Club surprised me year on year. Um, they seem to be getting stronger and stronger. And um, that, that first minute of the year, it was either they run a meeting at this field, because it's the only one they had available, or they don't run one at all. And uh, yeah, grass track is a, a, about racing, but it's also about a community of people getting together. And it was early in the year, and, 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 I, and, I, and I, you know, I took my hat to them and say, fair play. The right, I think they made the right decision. Yes, it was bad track, but you know, throttle works both ways. Um, but this track here and the one they had last time, which is pretty much where we're standing, um, are much better. And, and, and as I say, they're going from strength to strength. Excellent, good words. Now, um, Matt and Andy uh, have always got a sort of different attitude to racing. They seem to really actually enjoy their grass track racing. They turn up and enjoy themselves. Um, now, Matt, if you, um, a lot of the guys around here look very serious on race day, and you and Andy have a very different um, approach to your racing. Uh, could you tell us anything about that at all? Um, well, you, you Life's for living and, and so go out and enjoy it and I don't mind making a complete arse of myself as you'll have probably seen on many videos in the past and, and just hanging around and, and just have a bit of fun and, and if you take things seriously everything really does start going tits up and well, yeah, just enjoy life and if you, can, if you make people laugh then every, everyone's having a good time and that's my philosophy. Excellent, just if only, only a few more people with that attitude, well done. Uh, now hopefully, good luck for today, hopefully you can match practice with uh, some great racing. Um, hope everything goes well for you. Cheers. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Cheers guys. Cheers. Uh, Runner-up in this year's Masters, um, Jamie Rogers I'm with now. Jamie, you've been out for practice at this Worcester track, how has it gone? Uh, I only managed to do two laps I think, uh, first practice chain come off, second one I lost my steel shoe, so we'll see how we go in the first race. Now as I mentioned, you narrowly missed that, um, that Masters title a few weeks back, um, do you think you'll come back next year bigger and stronger? Hopefully, yeah, yeah, I just missed the start in the final, which uh, was very crucial, but uh, anyway, we'll have another go next year, no problem. Excellent. I think um, another defining race for you was your first heat, where Paul Hurry narrowly beat you, but that was some racing in that race. Yeah, it was good racing. Uh, I think the second race was the same as well with Tim. Uh, yeah, it was good racing all day, really good. I think the racing was really close at the British Masters this year, and, um, and the track, lots of riders didn't like it. Um, did you like the track yourself? Yeah, it was a good track, it was different, you know, but everyone's got to ride it, so it's there for everybody to ride it. Uh, it did actually suit me, it suited the way the bike was set up, so yeah, I didn't mind it, it was good. Excellent. Now, you've uh, got to be one of the favourites today here at Worcester. Um, who, where do you see the strongest opposition coming from? It's got to be Tim Nobbs again today, hasn't it? He's, uh, he's going, really going well this year. Uh, we've got the pairs, me and Tim, up at uh, Preston in a few weeks. Uh, should be good. Excellent. Um, and also, there's uh, Tom Perry in the lineup. Um, how do you fare Tom Perry's um, chances today? I don't know. I, I haven't watched him go around in practice, but he's always there kicking him out, isn't he? <laughs> he's an up and coming in, like the rest of us. 
Excellent. Yeah, it's really good that there's so many of you, the younger riders around now. Um, good luck for today, Jamie. Uh, hopefully everything goes well and hopefully you'll um, prove us right in being one of the favourites. <laughs> no problem. Cheers. Right, I'm here with Tim Nobes, uh, the spectacular Tim Nobes. Uh, Tim, um, you've been out for practice, how did practice feel? Felt good actually, I mean, it's the best one they've had this year and I like it, so yeah, it seems good. Excellent. Now, uh, we've just spoken to Jamie Rogers, one of your rivals today, and Jamie cites you as the main threat. Um, how do you feel about that? Same again, I think, the other way around. Mm. But yeah, I mean, we're signed up, we, we just signed up together now for doing the pairs on the 1st of November against all the Speedway boys, so that'll be interesting. We're going to show them how it's done. <laughs> that will be interesting. Now, uh, Tim, you've been riding grass track for a number of years. Um, have you been tempted to uh, leave us for the Speedway at all? No. I've been offered, been offered loads and loads of times, but I just don't, just don't seem to like it. I prefer race on the bigger tracks, big long tracks and stuff. But you never know. One day I might have a go. I might have a go in the winter again, but that's about it at the moment. Excellent. Um, now you just touched on the long tracks as well. If I can just talk about that, um, you've not—I've not known you in the results much uh, on the continent. Have you done many continental meetings this season? Yeah, I did uh, the World Long Track Grand Prix qualified, which I qualified, but I didn't know at the time I qualified. And then we found out at the last minute, the week before, that I qualified, but it was too late a notice for me really to organise ferry crossings and stuff. So I gave that a miss, and then. Done some like one off meetings, done well in them. This is all like a learning curve, but it seems to help. But I mean, without the help I get from the sponsors and that with Carl and stuff, I wouldn't be able to do any of it. Yeah, well, it's a big shame that you never got over there, I think, but you've got plenty of years in you, we've got nothing to worry about. And also, you say that's all a learning curve. I think many people, many of your critics, um, seem to think that you should know it all and do it all straight away. Um, yes. I mean, here's your chance really to bite back at your critics. A lot of people say that you're wild, you're out of control. That's something I probably don't agree with, but how do you feel about those critics? Oh no, it, does, it doesn't bother me. I mean, it's just, they just try to get you down about it. But you don't, if they can't beat you on the track, they try and get you in, in your head, but don't let that get to me. Good stuff, yeah, it's all about being strong-willed. Well done, Tim. OK, um, good luck for today. Obviously, I think that you and Jamie are going to have some flying races. You had a good one at the Masters. Yeah. Um, good luck today and hope everything goes well. OK, cheers. Thank you. I've done it. I've mechanic it. <laughs> Right, I'm here with Rob Bradley and Sean Simpson, former Masters champions. Um, guys, you lost your Masters title last week. Um, looking to make amends this week? Uh, yeah, we always are, but we just come racing to enjoy ourselves. Uh, the Masters wasn't good for us this year. Just couldn't seem to get it together, but I mean, that's how it goes. Every day is different. Well, a frightening thought that's just occurred to me is that I think you're going to be in the qualifier next year. So that means we've got to try and race you two, which is going to be a nightmare. Um, Sean, you've been out for practice. How did you find the track today? Yeah, track seems fantastic actually, you know, obviously we thought we was alright in practice at the Masters but then when it comes to the meetings it all changes, tracks are changing all the time at this time of year with them being wet and then the dry off and lines are changing all day, so. Yeah, and also we've got um, a lot of races until we're out first time, so I think the track might change quite a lot. Do you think, are you planning on any changes at all before that first race? Uh, no, Don't not really, we made a few adjustments after practice, uh, but it felt fairly good, and I, but I think it will get... Uh, more grippy and less the watery uh, and maybe a little bit rough but the, you can't adjust for roughness you can just try and make it turn it's all about the corners anybody can go fast in a straight line but if you can't get around the corners you're uh, really going to struggle now um, if I can just turn to your outfit you've had the outfit now for uh, quite a number of years and uh, Roger Meese had it before you uh, any plans to change machinery at all next year uh, no, I definitely wouldn't change. Uh, it, it, he's desperately in need of a rebuild, and I think I've said for the last three years that I am going to make another one. But it, if I do make one, it will be exactly the same, because it, it seems to do everything really well. Uh, and Sean, you've ridden on a few steers, the, the you know top-of-the-range modern outfit. Um, how does it compare with perhaps uh, Paul Whiteland's steer or Colin Blackburn's steer? 
Uh, well, every bike's different. Even the steers, you can get on poles and it feels totally different to Collins, like, you know, but the, our machine, like, I do like it. It's comfortable, it's nice to ride, and I, I don't know if it's so much the passenger thing, but it's just Rob, he just, he rides it better than anything and he knows what it's going to do and we know how to alter things to get it working right, so. so, so it's all about knowing your equipment, really. Uh, Rob, today is a new day, Master's gone. Um, how do you rate your chances today? Um, I mean, today is a really good lineup. You know, it's a strong field. I mean, it's very nearly the Masters, but we all uh, we all race really hard, and and my bike does like grippy tracks, so we'll, we'll see how it goes. But I I'll be disappointed not to be in the final at the very least. Excellent. Um, do you know if you're in with the shout for the uh, build base championship? Because I know there's a lot of money on that. I think there is. Uh, I think we may be in the top three and. To be honest, I don't really look. I always think, try to win every race, and if when you get to the end of it all, you've got a good result, then that's fine. Uh, I think you can put too much pressure on yourself to perform. So we just uh, take it as it comes. Excellent. Well, enjoy yourself today, guys, and good luck for everything. Cheers. Thanks very Cheers, much. Mate. Cheers, Bob. The new one of the two acres all in timber during the course of the afternoon, please. Thank you. We're in the race to the three in the heat of the 375. Carmen Palmer makes a good start. Dave Needham as a rider goes with him. Ian Guthrie's again that familiar sweep. Round the outside, one seven one. Darren Harris has gone through into fourth place. Ian Guthrie picks up three places on the entry. And that top corner goes through the second place. And here's Calvin Palmer leads into the sixth corner for the third time. Guthrie's again making a move round the outside. And Harris has got that third. Dave Needham now relegated to four. Barry Lena is in five. That's the top five. That's Calvin Palmer again on the inside line. Ian Guthrie's again that familiar swoop. Round the outside of that top corner. As they go on to four, Guthrie's leading them from Palm in second. It's Harris who's got the third, leading in four. Ryder is in five. The leader Ian Guthrie's clear, going to that back straight. All these final shots. Still Palmer holds that second place leader. They're getting away from Darren Harris, who consolidates further. Jay Needham in the fourth place position. Ian Guthrie comes to get the winning ride in race number three. Second place goes to Calvin Palmer. Darren Harris picks up the third. Jay Needham is in four. Tim Portman in six and Dave Meadows in seventh place. Three results to win for 174 in Guthrie. Second number 226, Calvin Palmer. And third, 171, Darren Harris. 364. 246, 109, <laughs> and 105. 1 minute 24.69, 1 minute 24.69, race 4, 350 solo, and in 239, Ricky Gregory, and 114, Jack Harbury, who will be on at 250. And if Ricky Gregory has made a good start, but Tom Perry comes to the outside the lead, going up the banking for the first time. Gregory's got the second, it's Andrew Whitaker in third place. That's the top three, they go in the back place for the first time. Tom Perry is still in the back, the front Gregory. Oh, he's got the second, Whitaker is up the third, and Whitaker coming under pressure there for that third place position. 
Tom Bailey leads it. McGregory holds that second. Whitaker's got the third. Jack Hardwick on the 250. Good job. Holding on to fourth place. And looking for that third place. Andy Whitaker's coming in. 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 And
Result of race number five then, the win for number 72, Sean Harvey and Danny Hart. Second number seven, Barry Bennett, Ivan Hughes. And third number 24, Mike Gosling and Daniel Head. Five and 99. One minute 21.16. One minute 21.16 the winning time, race six. Five out for the Tasper program. We welcome the new British champions to Worcester Grass Track. Number 21, Nick Radley and Abby Radley, the new champions, won at Pickering just a couple of weeks ago. Coming up then for race number six and eight of the 500 strike cars. Everybody gets away as Nick Ruby made a cracking start. Uh, Gary Southgate's out for the go to Dave Carver looking to improve on that. Four plates in Nick and Abby Ruby lead going down the back straight for the first time. Gary Southgate on that second. Into that third place. Stuart Jackson finds himself in fifth place. He's Ruby leads it then for Southgate in second. Carver's got the third. Hollingdale in fourth. Chapman is in five, that's a five and a second heat of the 500 sidecars, he could just between the five and they go. Second place, Lucas. Coming on to complete that lap then. Randy leads it, and Southgate in second. Carvel is in third. Hollingdale in four. Chapman in five. The Rattlers lead it from Southgate, Owen Station in second. Carville's got the third. Owen down now coming under pressure to Stuart Chapman in that race for fourth and fifth places. Little down second and third places. That's the front of the British champions, they win race number six. Second place goes to uh, Gary Southgate. Third place is Dave Carville. It'll be tied for fourth and fifth. Stuart Chapman has got through on the inside and gets that fourth place. From uh, Richard Hollandale in fifth place. Race six result to enter number 21, Nick and Abby Radley. Second number 44, Gary Southgate, Laura Kerrison. And third, number 55, Dave Carvel and Carl Webb. Eight and 46. One minute 19.18. One minute 19.18. Just a little bit of late practice to see Smith, the elderly, the elderly president of the past to see, he is on the V-twin, uh, same sort of machine that Neil Owen rides with a great deal of success. Those of you at the Ledbury Leader probably saw Steve on that machine, it's a new machine, he is trying it out, and we're very pleased that Steve's able to get his machinery sorted out, he's just having two quick laps of practice. <laughs>
Colvin Palmer's gone through the second, Gerald Shaw has 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 gone through then short holding that second place, Palmer has got the third, Scalding is in fourth, Waterfield up to five, Pat Davis drops back to six, Dave Meadows is in seven, that's the top seven, as he's done the one there, going in that back place, what's the next thing? Short holding that second place, this is Palmer has got the third, getting away to Mark Scalding has got the fourth place, this is he's done the, look behind him, he's going to make him once again, Shorty still got that second, Palmer in third, Scalding in fourth, He's clear of them, Waterfield will hold up fifth place, but maybe he's in sixth. Dave Meadows still holds seventh place. But as you know, this first hit up the upright, 15 in Dudley. Making a bit of a wide line there on the exit, but that big pull looks behind him again. Good race start, they both the second and third. Just Calvin Palmer, Jeff and Stark, and Lee and Gerald Short, they climb the bank in. On to lap number four, just in each of them, Short in second, Palmer taking much closer on this third, Palmer's almost running to the door. Short goes on a power, going down a back straight two by the three years. And Calvin Palmer, that race for second and third place here. As Ian Dudley's going to get the winning ride this time, Jimmy time for second and third. Calvin Palmer comes again, but Gerald Shaw just gets a second, and Calvin Palmer comes across the line in third. Mike Calvin picks up four. It's Glenn Waterfield in five, Pat Davis in six, and Dave Mellows in seventh place. Race 9 result to win for 312, Ian Dudley. Second number 27, Gerald Short. And third, 226, Calvin Palmer. 143, 182, 568, and 105. And we go to race 10, another heat of the uprights, delete 119, Colin Harris. And delete 411 Dave Burry. By Nigel Newman we number 22, not number 2 in this race 10. He will be on that the Lou Coffin special. Race number 10 on the heat of the upright. Ian Guthridge making a good start. Tim Cronaut trying to get through on the inside. That's the uh, top two. Stuart Chapman comes from nowhere to go through. Into third place. Vincent Brace has gone through in the four. That's the top four. Yeah. The two 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 is going down that back stretch. Tim Cronaut in second. Chapman has to get his first in third. He's starting away from his fourth and fifth place borders. As Tim Cronaut gets through on the inside. Ian Guthridge again. Sweeps back round the outside. Good action between these two with Cronaut on the inside. Guthridge again. That familiar sweep round the outside. Gets back round the edge of Cronaut. To reach out to reach two by between these two as they go. Down the back straight once again. Just the John Ray inside. Cronaut again comes back up the inside. Chapman trying to close the gap in third. Cronaut again gets back through on the inside of Guthridge. And Vincent Preachers four on that pitch corner will hold him. Four places, Kurnock leads coming off the bank, it down the back straight they go, once again, yellow flags are at the moment, and it's Kurnock leads, it's up to the end, Weeks back around the outside line, to retake the lead, Kurnock comes again back up on the inside, the man just has to be swimming two for first and second, they move on to four this time, Guthrie again, squeaks back round the outside, the lead up the bank in four, he's four times, Kurnock again comes back up the inside, Guthrie again squeaks, Back round the outside to retake the lead. Curve up again to come again on the end of the fifth corner. There's a five bit for the there's a dive into that fifth corner. Four the final time. Tremendous up to the first and second places. Then Curve comes on the inside. He's got this week round the outside. The fridge gets the winning ride. Curve up gets the second. Chapman comes across the line in third place. Dave Needham picks up the four. Richard Cooper is in five. Oh, and Vincent Priestley falls for the second time. He just remounted to pick up some places, and he falls in exactly the same place on lap four as he fell on lap number two. 
keeping the engine running, could well thought to pick up some uh, crucial points. So Vincent Priestley gets the last place despite falling on two occasions. Race 10 result to win for 174, Ian Guttridge. Second number 726, Tim Kernock. And third, 351, Stuart Chapman. 364, 37, and 165. 1 minute 23.34, 1 minute 23.34, the winning time. We move on to race 11, 1 non star to number 22, Craig Smith. Very happy birthday to Liam Brown, who will be passenger in uh, Rod Winterburn this afternoon. So, very happy birthday to Liam Brown. Going up the back straight for the first time. Okay. 
Chris Dawson from Grimshaw and the fire to go through. In the third place, we've got Chris Paul, the shoulder of Rob Winterburn coming off the banking. For the first time, it's Winterburn and Lee Curry Jackson has come from nowhere to go for in the second place. Chris Fires trying to make a move back round the outside, bunching up for the minor places as Winterburn and Brown Lee going up that back straight once again. Jackson flying in the they race into that top corner once again, the uh, championship leader, Ron Winderburn, looks for making a good start, Gary Jackson's got that second, and number 13, Joe Sturt, which has now gone through into third place, relegating Chris Fires to four, it's... Um that second place position. Cut Chris Barr now retakes that fourth place position as third place has gone to Joseph Sturtridge. Chris Barr's again coming under pressure from step line. Jason Gilmer racing now for fourth and fifth place here. One with him and Liam Brown there on the back. One with him and Liam Brown they get the one in right. Second place goes to Gary Jackson. Third place is Joe Sturtridge. Fourth and fifth are desperately tied. It's just a Steph Moy who gets the four with Chris Spires in fifth place. <laughs> Super stop in race number 12, a win for number 48, Rod Winderburn and Liam Brown. Second number 23, Gary Jackson and Carl Bly. And third number 13, Joe Sturtridge and Lee Toms. 30. And number six, one minute nine point eight eight. One minute nine point eight eight. And we go to race thirteen. Mark and Tom Costa to uh, Worcester Grassback Club. We're pleased to have them with us this afternoon. And obviously, Gareth Winderburn. I think his first driving exhibition here at Worcester. He's been driving both on the speedway and the grass track and is really, really competitive. So we should have a cracking heat of sidecar action in race number thirteen. second down page trying to get around the edge of Fred Skinner as well as Cossa leads Ember Winterburn in second page he's got the third Skinner is in four Phil Sims in five that's the five as they go off the back straight once again and Fred Skinner gets back through on the inside to reach the third the third of Fred Skinner gone back from the third Phil Sims has now gone through the fourth down page relegated to five as Cossa leads and then from Winterburn holding second Sims has got the third Fred Skinner is in four Del Page in five as Mark Cotter is going up the back side once again. He's allowed too many meetings as the driver leaves through. He's going to run after Mark Cotter now as Cotter leaves. On to four then for Winterburn holding second. It's Phil Sims now got that third place. Fred Skinner is in four. Del Page is in five as they go up the back straight once again. Mark Cotter and Tom Cotter. That Gareth Winterburn again turns to the power of the banking for the Tom Authority of the Masters champion going to win his first point. And Gareth Winterburn getting the second. Phil Sims picks up the third. Tremendous race of fourth and fifth. Fred Skinner on the inside. Del Page coming right round the outside. A race for the line. They cross the line virtually together. Certainly one left for the lap scorers there for four and fifth places. Super action in race number 13, who win for number 37, Mark and Tom Cosser. Second number 49, Gareth Winderburn and Ben Malloy. And third number 8, Phil Sims and Gareth Bannister. 
228 and 31. 1 minute 9.09, 1 minute 9.09 the winning time. On we go to race 14, yet another heat of the big chairs. Happy birthday to Roger Fipp today, sorry, happy birthday to Roger Fipp. We've got only four for race four, I think there's a day to over left the page and uh, there's the cars, there may only be four for this race number 14, we should have, yeah, there's only four runners, Rob Bradley's still in the market, but from there to start them, but Rob Bradley's still in the Back place, first line, what a start there by Rob Bradley. He's already a long way clear to put. Holds a nice tight low exit in the banquet. Rob Bradley leads it for 1 6 1. That's Simon Hill gone through in the second place. John Paul has got the third. Andy Marvel is in fourth place as the former Masters champion Rob Bradley joins him. Bradley and Simpson there the clear leaders, but Simon Heal and uh, Matt Vickery hold that second place position. John Corpenin Hale has got the third, with Andy and Tom Marble in fourth place. That's the four. John Bradley half in that back place. Well, Peter Bunch, the nice start Simon Hill hanging on to that second place. John Corp has got the third. Andy Marble is in fourth place, little bit spun out now, the fourth leg on the big chairs, and we'll the the going up the back straight for the final time, it's still Simon Hill holding that second, John Thorpe in third, Andy Marble in fourth, in place to John Thorpe in third, number 14, second place goes to Simon Hill, third place John Thorpe, and fourth place Andy Marble. Race 14 result, impressive stuff for number 87, Rob Bradley and Sean Simpson. Second number 161, Simon Heal and Matt Vickery. And third, 362, John Thorpe and Ian Hale. Fourth, number 461. 1 minute 10.47, 1 minute 10.47. We go back to the start of the programme, second leg of the uh, 250s. Delete number one, Tom Perry. Delete number 788, Richard Lively. Put in 231, Lloyd Barrett. Right, coming into line then for race 15, start of the second set of each, it's the second leg of the uh, 250. Up and the the 250s, it's Gateway has made a good start, Georgie Wood's got away, Arlen Cook has got away, and Georgie Wood gets the corner first, Arlen Cook making the move, round the outside, Jane Williams holds that third place, the Craig Joy now goes to... Corner for the first time. Would you lead it? Cook trying to close the gap. Round the outside of that fifth corner. Jury's gone for the third. Isaac is in four. Boy Barrett in five. Sam Carvel in six. Williams in seven. Guest is in eight. Yeah. Good run by Jury in the third. Ozzy's got the fourth. Carver in five. 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 Carver in five.
Lloyd Barrett is in six. Adrian Guest has gone through the seven. Third, eight. And William is in ninth place. Race 15 resolved to win for number 96, Georgie Wood. Second number 7, Harlan Cook. And third, 210, Craig Drury. 82, 619, 231, 8, 9, 73, 50, and 56. 1 minute 14.19 1 minute 14.19 and we go to race 16 delete 681 right race 16 comes up the line then with race number 16 and it's Dave Norris making a good start Calvin Palmer's gone with him and it's uh, Dave Needham also Dave Norris makes a mistake drops back to third place as Palmer leads up the bank in for the first time and there goes Norris that familiar sweep round the outside it goes in the second place on the shoulder Calvin Palmer there he goes in the corner on the open lap the other side right at the moment racing under the yellow flag the yellow flag there disappearing Dave Norris hits the front of Palmer holding second, Needham has got the third, Liner is in fourth, 171 who missed the start is now a lap down, Mr. Harris has got away in the lap down, he's going down the back straight, once again, Palmer holds that second place, Needham has got the third, Liner now coming under pressure for that fourth place, this is, they got to take the lap. Third, Liner is in fourth, because 171 is a lap down, now followed by uh, Dave Mellows at 109, this corner is race number 16. Needle has dropped the third. Line is still holds the foot. Then the back straight for the final time in race number 16. Big lead for the Calvin Palmer's second day. Needle has dropped the fifth. Be made ready for Dave Norris. Makes it two and two in the heat of the pre-75. Calvin Palmer gets the second place. Dave Needham is in third. Harry Lider is in fourth. No five, Dave Meadows. And 109, Tim Hawford. Testing one, two, three, four.
people, we do have to keep the speed that it's extremely low because it's obviously we've got one or two people that don't want us to be here in this last track, so we are doing all we can to keep the speed that we can have people at the reach of the speed that are so low around the track, so we do apologise for the speed that's breaking down, and we hope I'll continue for the rest of the week. West. <laughs> and it is not. <laughs> Tom Calvin Farmer's got the second place, Richard Cooper, big sweep, round the outside of the <laughs>
Keep pushing, Andy! <laughs> Outfit number five, Matt Formerola, Andy Wilson. They uh, we just got through into second place, but they came to a stop, so they are going to push it over to get what could be crucial points to get them through into the final. They're hoping they can scoot it home from there, but uh, still a long, hard push there for outfit number five, Matt Formerola, Andy Wilson. Let's have a bit of appreciation they come by us there because they are pushing through for crucial points to get them into the final. <laughs> So a long hard push there for Matt Formerola and Andy Wilson to get six place points in race number 25. Right, we go on to race 26 to beat number 52, Lester Page. Should be a crack. <laughs> Number 26 in this mark, Costa leads from Rob Bradley in second place. Joe Stewart, which has got the third, so just the three outfits out, powering that pits corner on lap number one. Then it's Mark and Tom Costa starting to win the front from Rob Bradley. They've got the third, so that's the three outfits in. Mark Costa takes a tight line. Rob Bradley takes exactly the same line, can't close the gap on Costa now as they go into that pits corner once again. Costa leads it, but Bradley in second. Sturt, which has got the third, he could just complete the three to go. In this new base challenge here at Worcester this afternoon. Costa leads him on the four, then from Bradley holding that second. Sturt, which has got the third. Into the pits corner they go on lap number four and up the back straight they go on then. Two in the opening each of this Bill Bates challenge this afternoon. Mark and Tom Cosser get the winning ride. Second place goes to Rob Bradley. Third place is Joe Sturtridge. Race 26 result to win number 37, Mark and Tom Cosser. Second number 87, Rob Bradley and Sean Simpson. Third number 13, Joseph Sturtridge and Lee Tom. One minute nine, exactly. Race 27, delete number 22, Craig Smith and Brett Edge. Trying to find a way through on the inside, these two nip and tuck the first place. And Chris Fires left the gap on the inside. Gareth Winterburn has gone through that, that gap and leads going up the back for lap number two. Chris Fires holds up the second So we get a good ride there by Gareth Winterburn getting through on the inside. Chris Fires is making it count now as he completes that lap and Spires holding second. Downs has got the third. Marble is in fourth place. They go up the back straight once again. And it's Gareth Winterburn. Lost that flag and then four Gareth Winterburn walking in the front. And Chris Fires grimly hanging on to that second place. Four downs, trying to close the gap in third. Andy Marble dropping back in fourth place. Going up the 
Race 27 result then, went for number 49, Gareth Winterburn and Ben Malloy. Second number 6, Chris Spires and Gareth Little. And third, number 44, Paul Dans and Tony Bourne. Fourth, 461. 1 minute 10.04, 1 minute 10.04, the winning time. We move on then to race number 28, another heat of the big chairs. Coming out then for race 28, should be exciting indeed. Gary Jackson, Rod Winterburn, the uh, championship leader, won his opening ride. So, um, Gary Jackson, a good second place for John Sauce, a good ride in his first outing. So, uh, should be in for a cracking heat race number 28 of the Bill Bay 1000 CC Sidecar Challenge. Away to a clean break, Gary Jackson, made a good job, but Rod Winterburn made a better start. Paul Johnson, close to Gary Jackson, Winterburn's lead then from Jackson in second, it's Johnson who's got the third, that's the top three going into that bottom corner, and Gary Jackson almost running into Rod Winterburn, Rod Winterburn against Paul Johnson, going up that back to the third place, Paul Johnson, Rod Winterburn looking to make it two to two, here's the heat to the big chairs, he leads it, but Jackson holding that second place, Johnson climbing all over Gary Jackson, Looking at second base of Gary Jackson, Gary Jackson holding the inside line, Paul Johnson trying to bore a hole through on the inside of Gary Jackson. And Rod Winterburn is getting away from the second place, Paul Johnson again trying to find him on the inside line. As Winterburn leads on the lap fourth and Jackson holding second, Johnson's got the third, Del Page is in four, John Paul is in five, that's the five as they go on the back straight once again. The main action is back in the third the Gary Jackson gets a second, Paul Johnson in third, Del Page is in fourth, John Thorpe in fifth place. Super sidecar action there in race number 28 and keeping on beating the same as Mark Cosser, a win for number 48, Rod Winderburn and Liam Brown. Second number 23, Gary Jackson and Carl Bly. And third number 7, Paul Johnson and Rick McCauley. 31 and 362. 1 minute 9.79. 1 minute 9.79. Nine. Going to race 29, start the third leg of the 250s. Delete Tom Perry, delete 788, put in 231, Lloyd Barrett. Who's going to make the start? Holland Cup has made the start. Georgie Wood has gone with him. Craig Jury has got the third place. Bird has also made a good start, but Georgie Wood's gone through on the inch of Harlan Cup and he's going down the back of the <laughs> Complete the only lap there. Georgie Wood has clearly given Harlan Cook in second. Drury's got the third. Isaac in four. Barron's in five. Bird in six. Guest in seven. Carmel in eight. <laughs> 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 
Second place, Calvin Farmer in third in Guthridge is in fourth place, Gary Finlow in five, that's a five to go down the back straight to the first. Move round the outside, three abreast the first place is Jose because they get round the outside. Harris has got the third, Palmer's in fourth, Finlow in five. Again, three abreast the first place, and Ian Guthrie swings back round the outside. Morris Jones leads, going down the back straight to the first place. Ian Guthrie going down the back straight to the first place. Harris has got the third, Palmer's in fourth, Finlow in five. Again, three abreast the first place, and Ian Guthrie swings back round the outside. Morris Jones leads, going down the back straight to the first place. Harris has got the third, Palmer's in fourth, Finlow in five. Again, three abreast the first place, and Ian Guthrie swings back round the outside. Morris Jones leads, going down the back straight to the first place. Harris has got the third, Palmer's in fourth, Finlow in five. Again, three abreast the first place, and Ian Guthrie swings back round the outside. Morris Jones leads, going down the back it's Palmer trying to find a way to film into Morris Joe, but Morris Joe's just been holding the bay. Let's go to the and Palmer second, Joe's is going to the first, and four. The 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 Seven two. 
Race 31, delete 119, 411 and 681. Stopped in the interest of train safety, race number 31. Ari Lina riding number 246 foul was the primary cause of the stoppage and will be excluded from the rerun. On the line, then, the rerun of race number uh, 31, the lead of the 375. Now for the start then, the red green flag is up, the race of the race number 31. Where are we going with race number 31 restart? Dave uh, Norris making a good start. General Short must be cursed. Look, he was in front of the race to stop. Dave Needham's come for now with a hit the front, going up the bank in the first time. But General Short has gone through on the inside. Dave Norris trying to follow his two. The second place is Jordy Lee, the Norris is second, he's going to be done first, and he is in fourth place, that's the top four, and Gerald Short leads complete lap number one, but Dave Norris in second, it's Dave Needham in third, Bruce Eddy is in fourth place, Portman is in five, just the five runners, the three runs, and Dave Norris is in second place position, they're going to wait for Dave Needham in third, as Shorty Lee gives the Norris having a real good go. Went for the inside, now he goes on the edge of Shorty, goes climbing up the bank in once again. Good action between these two for first and second. This is in the pre-75. Shorty Lee going down that fast break. 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 Shorty Wait back round the outside, I believe again, Dave Norris. Joel Short gets back past again, Dave Norris trying to find a way through. On the inside, the back half is really going to come into play this side. With 
Wentworth which way will they go? Most around there, Charlie and Matt Parker. Dave Norris just gets it from Gerald Short in second. Tremendous race between those two for first and second. Dave Needham picks up the third Bruce Eddie's in fourth. Portman is in fifth place. Super stuff there. Rerun race number 31. Super stop there in rerun race number 31 and wins the number 17, Dave Norris. Second number 27, Gerald Short. And third, 364, Dave Needham. 70, 109. 1 minute 22.78. 1 minute 22.78. Right, race 32, 350 solo open, two editions, 114 Jack Hargreaves and 239 Ricky Gregory. Right, on the line then for race 32, these 350 solos. Great looking for Tom Ferry to make a good start from the eight. So in fact Jack Hargreaves on the 250 makes the best of start. Tom Ferry will sweep round the outside of that top corner, which he does under when he get trying to get round into Jack Hargreaves. <laughs> As it is, uh, Tom Curry cleared the front then, so Andrew Whittaker holding that second place. Jack Harvey having a good ride on the 250 in third. Ricky Gregory is in four. Thomas is in five. Down in his six. That's the six to go. That's the back straight. Uh, that's the best way to do that. Still working in the middle, hanging on to that second place. Pickens as Curry leads to win that one, but Whittaker in second. Harvey coming under pressure now about third place from Ricky Gregory. Thomas has still got four. Down in his five. Tom Ferry coasting into that fifth point of Second place, there's Jack Harvey coming into the place for Rick Gregory and Hayden. Third in four places as Perry leads off the four. From which the hold is taken in second place. Jack Harvey just hanging on to that third. He's got wide a chance for Ricky Gregory to get to on the inside. And take that third place and push up there for Jack Harvey. He's in that third place position. As Tom Ferry coasts in and out of that final. <coughs> Final corner, Tom Curry gets to his right. Second place goes to Andrew Whittaker. Ricky Gregory's got the best of Jack Hargreaves, that race the third in fourth places. Ricky Gregory gets the uh, third. Jack Hargreaves in fourth. Tom Thomas in five. And the Dowling in sixth position. Race 32 result to win for number one, Tom Perry. Second, 717, Andrew Whittaker. And third, 239, Ricky Gregory. 114, 16, and 280. 1 minute 17.72, 1 minute 17.72, race 33, delete number 10. Four outfits lining up then for race number 33. Where are we going with race number 33? And Nick and Abby Rabbit make a cracking start again. Gary Southgate got away with him, but Barry Bunny making a move around the outside to go through into second place. Mike Gosling has got that fourth place and Rabbit has been on the back of the into the pitch corner on the opening lap then. It is Nick and Abby Rabbit, the crew to catch here this afternoon. They're clear to front from Barry, but it's been used holding that second place. It's Gary Southgate, Laura Carrison in third, and Mike Cosling is down the head on the Barry in second place. One of those again, oh, Nick and Abby Rabbit, they get a completely different line coming out of that pitch. We'll take a much wider line up on the bank and they go once again. Nick and Abby Rabbit is very funny. He's getting a little bit closer now in second place. Fourth place. Fourth place. Fourth place. Fourth place. Three, the three, the 
from the inside. Tom just gets the machinery sorted out before going back towards the middle of the grid. There's Tom, he's to a plan to up to a quarter of the over there now as well. So, uh, intriguing race number 35 takes them the way they go. And it's uh, Jamie Rogers with the tape surrounding them. Is the race going to continue? There's Jamie Rogers in second place. Holland Cook is a race for the Jamie Rogers holder. Second place is Tom Curry back in third. And then to the big corner on the opening up these two lots together but Roger gets through on the inside Cook again trying to get back round the outside Tom Perry back in third place Harlan Cook's gone really wide up on the bank and that's where Jamie Rogers is going to end up with it looking for the second place of Harlan Cook as Jamie Rogers is well here to put them in race number 35 on your legion it's Harlan Cook who's got the second Tom Perry trying to find a way through on the inside he's alongside Harlan Cook now Harlan Cook running mid track Tom Perry goes right here when he's going off the bank, 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 he's going off the b
1 minute 18.56 the winning time 1 minute 18.56 
Fifth to first, he wins it. Second place goes to Ian Guthrie. Third place is Nigel Newman. Fourth, Dave Needham. Fifth, Vincent Priestley. And sixth place will be Pat Davis. <laughs> <laughs> Race number 38 to win the number 27, Gerald Shaw. Second number 174, Ian Guthrie. And third number 22, Nigel Newman. 364, 165, and 568. One minute 25.22. One minute 25.22. We move on to race 39, the third leg of the Bill Bates 1000 CC sidecars, the lead number 52, Lester Page. So, four outfits in the line for race number 39. Anderson, Gareth Winterburn, Simon Neal and Paul Downs. Champion Gary Jackson doesn't miss chance like that. He's the leader then from Simon Hill, gone through the second. Paul Downs has got the third, but Gareth Winterburn now goes to into that third place for the union. Paul Downs the fourth. They go off the back. Simon Hill has a good run in second place to Matt Vicker in the chair. Gareth Winterburn hunting him down, looking back second place of Simon Hill as Gary Jackson leads it up and Hill in second. Winterburn's again trying to get through on the inside. Gareth Winterburn does go through on the inside. Trump has this ride there by Gareth Winterburn. It's Jackson and Bly who lead the entrance, Winterburn and Malloy on the second, Simon Hill and Matt Vickery have got the third, Paul Downs and Tony Bourne are in fourth place, and Gareth Winterburn just two bikes behind, Gary Jackson, they got the back straight, Paul Lee, Paul Gareth Winterburn trying to get through on the inside, what a ride by Gareth and Gareth Winterburn. I crossed the line virtually, I'll leave that one for lap scorers, but Gareth Winterburn has come from absolutely nowhere there. He was quickest away, he was slow going up that back straight. He got for the third, he got for the second, and we'll leave it for lap scorers to see who won a very eventful race number 39. Absolutely fantastic action there in race number 39. And the winner by inches, outfit number 49, Gareth Winterburn and Ben Malloy. Second number 23, Gary Jackson and Carl Bly. And third, 161, Simon Hill and Matt Vickery. Fourth, number 44. 1 minute 10.19. 1 minute 10.19. Making a good start, Mark Cotton. Getting 
race is step forward now going through the fourth place. Three abreast coming off the bank, even the first time it's Matt Paul Roller lead for Mark Costa in second, Chris Files in third step flying four, John Thorpe is in five, that's a five, they go up the back straight once again, and Matt Paul Roller and he will take it over the mark. John Thorpe in five, complete in two, and Paul Morola still leads it. Costa can't see the closing up in second. Chris Forrest consolidating that third. Step by trying to get closer in four. They're pulling away, but John Thorpe has got that first place. And Tom Costa could be beat for the first time this afternoon. On to four they go then. Paul Morola leads it for Costa in second. It's Spars in third. Bly is in four. Fourth in five. The gap between first and second is not coming down at all. It's impressive stuff and much needed points coming up for Matt Paul Morola. Andy Wilson second to the first time this afternoon. Mark and Tom Costa, Chris Spars. Just hangs on the third and step flying four and John Thorpe in fifth place. Race 40, impressive win there for number 5, Matt Formarola and Andy Wilson. Second, number 37, Mark and Tom Cosser. And third, number 6, Chris Spires and Gareth Little. 30. And 3.62. Quick time there for Matt Formarola. 1 minute 8.41. 1 minute 8.41. We look, we're looking to see if Steve Smith is going to come out. It'll be a great shame if he can't come out on the uh, V twin. The green flag is still up in the pits. We can see Rod Winterburn, John Stafford, and Rob Bradley have already gone out. So we're looking to Steve Smith and Andy Marvel for race number 41. Second, he's already cleared John Stafford. They climb the banking for the first time. Rob Winterburn back on number one machine. Is a leader then from Rob Bradley trying to close the gap in second place. He's still getting away from John Stafford, who's got the third place vision. Up the back straight they go. Once again, Rob Winterburn is getting away at the front. On this middle base championship, and Rob Winterburn will be well aware of the fact that Mark Costa got beat the last, in the last heat. So Rob Winterburn leads it, but Rob Bradley in second. John Stafford has got the third. That's the three they got the back straight once again. Middle base challenge here this afternoon. Brown with number 48, the end of Rob Winterburn and Liam Brown. They're clear of Rob Winterburn and Sean Simpson in second. It's uh, John Stafford and Lee Jones who hold the third place position. And Rob Winterburn passing up the impressive stuff from the Northern Invaders. Through number 48, Liam Brown get the winning right. Second place goes to Rob Bradley and Sean Simpson. Third place, it's John Stafford and Lee Jones. Race 41 result and with the number 48, Rod Winderburn and Liam Brown. Second number 87, Rob Bradley and Sean Simpson. And third number 81, John Stafford, Lee Jones. Another quick time, 1 minute 8.94. 1 minute 8.94. So race number 42, everything to go for. Five out, we come the line for race 42. Where we go then, 
Colvin Palmer definitely getting close to his third place. There's not going to lead him off the last half then, but Shorty holding second place. Palmer's got the third. It's got to be four. Jones in five. Needham six. Finlow seven. Harris in eight. Eddie in nine. That's the top nine. It's eight dollars each. Good to the fifth corner. All these colours are going to be late to the fourth three. He's reached just in five. No late final. It's eight dollars to win the beat just in five final. Second place goes to Gerald Shaw. Third place. Calvin Palmer, four for Dean Guthridge, five Morris Jones, six Dave Needham, seven Bruce Gary Pindo, eight Aaron, nine Bruce Teddy, and the ten squad across the line is Jim Foreman. Show your appreciation there for the pre-75 lads come round there. Lap of honour led round by General Short there, Dave Norris. And um, we've got Calvin Palmer in a busy afternoon riding in two classes. Ian Guthridge, Morris Jones, Gary Finlow, Dave Needham and Tim Port. But they're the riders that come round, so show your appreciation there to the pre-75 lads. Result in a race number 43. You win for number 17, Dave Norris. Second, number 27, Gerald Shaw. And third, 226, Calvin Palmer. 174, 115, 364, 61, 771, 70, and 10. Nine. One minute twenty two point eight seven. One minute twenty two point eight seven. Probably go on to race forty four. Fourth leg of the two fifties. Delete number one, Tom Perry. Delete seven eight eight. And in two three one, Lloyd Barrett. <laughs> Anybody catch uh, Georgie Wood on beating in the opening two Harlan Cook has tried all he can so far this afternoon but Georgie is coming on top and then he's taking for the way up for the fourth leg of the two fifties. Harlan Cook and Georgie Wood get away again. Georgie Wood gets the corner first. Harlan Cook holds that second place. Craig Drury has gone through into the third place. That's the top of his team of the as Wood leads them, but Cook in second, Drury in third, Isley's in fourth, Barrett is in five, Williams in six, Carmel in seven, third in eight. <laughs> 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 Second place goes to Harlan Cook. Third place is going to be Craig Drury. Fourth is Ben Isley. Fifth place will be Sam Carville. Sixth, Mr. Williams. Seventh, Mr. Burr. Then Lloyd Barrett off to keep us from the team problem. And then number eight.
Zoltan of the uh, fourth flag of the 250s, a win for number 96, Georgie Wood. Second number seven, Harlan Cook. And third, 210, Craig Drury. 82, 619, 73, 9, 2, 3, 1, 8, 50, and 56. Dave Carville next to come out, then uh, Barry Bennett, then uh, Gary Southgate, Richard Hollingdale, and Mike Godlin. Coming along then, we got uh, Nick Bradley on the outside, Barry Bennett next to him, then Dave Carville towards the middle. Looks like Gary Southgate going right to the inside, and then uh, Richard Hollandale comes in alongside Dave Carville, and that will leave Mike Gosling working on the inside. Side car final up and running away we go and Dave Carver's made a good start. Nick Radley has missed the start for the first on this afternoon. Gary Southgate goes through into second place as Dave Carver leads him going on the back straight for the first time. Gary Southgate took the second. Nick Radley made it a second place. And looking to lead to Dave Carver to move his up this corner once again. It's Carver on the inside. Nick Radley trying to come back around the outside. Gary Southgate making a move to try and retake that second place. Barry Bennington in fourth place as Dave Carver leads. Going down the back straight once again, Nick Bradley turns to the paradise. Nick Bradley up the radio, side of that fifth corner. Henry Nick Abbey Randy have hit the front, Dave Carvel trying to get back on the inside rubber. Nick Abbey Randy are getting away the front. Dave Carvel holds up second place, Gary Southgate's got the third. Barry Bunny trying to improve on that fourth place, Richard trying to make a move. And then we got Richard Hollandale and Paul Smith and Mike Gosling and Daniel Head. Superb 500 sidecar final. Well, we look to see if they come round on lap of honour now. Are they going to go straight back into the pits? If they do, show your appreciation. They are the new. Uh, British 500 sidecar champions have ridden on beaten all the afternoon, superb performance in the heat. They had to do it the hard way in the final coming through from the back, so as they come round on the lap of honour, please show your appreciation there for uh, Nick and Abby Radley. Tremendous performance in the 500 sidecars on beaten in the heat and the final as well. Next outfit to come round is Barry Bennett and Ivan Hughes, Dave Carvel and Carl Webb in the thick of the action this afternoon again, Gary Southgate and Laura Carrison. Richard Hollingdale and Paul Smith uh, making his first ever Primary Sidecar final. Mike Gosling and Daniel Head, they finish in sixth place. Right, 
result of race number 45, 500 sidecar final. A win for number 21, Nick and Abby Radley. Second number 55, Dave Carmel and Carl Webb. And third number 7, Barry Bennett, I can use. 44, 46, and 24. 1 minute 21.97. 1 minute 21.97. Winning time. So, with the Georgie Wood getting a 4 ride back from the 250, Tom Curry looking for the same in the uh, 350. And of course be Andrew Whittaker and uh, Rick Gregory who passed in the places all the afternoon. Rubbing up there, they're away with a three, four flag of the three fifty. So Rick and Gregory's made an absolute plan there, Tom Furry. Completely missed the star as Gregory gets the corner first. Tom Curry's cruising on round the outside of the bank to the lead, going down the back straight for first time. <laughs> And that race for second and third place is as Tom Perry is the leader then for Whitaker now gone through in the second. Gregory has got the third. Jack Harvey's on the two fifties in four. Hot Tom is in five. In fourth place is with us between the six. They go up the bank and once again Tom Perry of course has got very important 500 solo final coming up to take the young last of the lap of the two foot two Tom Perry leads coming out of that to pitch corner. On to that four then. Perry the lead at Witcher in second. Gregory has got the third. And Tom Perry is with Tom Perry's got problems. Tom Perry has got problems on the last corner as Andrew Winnegar comes out of that third corner. Andrew Winnegar gets the winning ride. Tom Perry is gonna push it over the three fifties. Ricky Gregory comes through to get second. Tom Perry pushing for all his worth. This was the last thing he needed. Jack Hargreaves gets third. Tom Perry has picked up four. Thomas in five, Dowling in sixth place. So all sorts of drama there in that 350 solo four flag. The rollers come around the lap of honour, so show your appreciation for the uh, 350 solos coming round, led round by uh, Andrew Whittaker. Tom Perry, Jack Hardridge in deep conversation. Andrew Whittaker leads around Ricky Gregory. And uh, Tom Perry, of course, we thought he was taking it easy because he got a big 500 final coming up, but uh, he had problems on that last lap. So that's the last thing he needed was an uphill push before going into the 500 final. So Tom's going to get lift on the back of uh, Jack Hardridge while well, the bike is pushed back to the pit. So show your appreciation, Jack Hardridge and uh, Tom Perry, definitely bad up on Tom Perry, well on course for Green Street in the 350, so show your appreciation the top corner and down the back straight. Right, a dramatic race 46, a win for 717, Andrew Whittaker. Second, 239, Ricky Gregory. And third, 114, Jack Hargreaves. One. 16, 280, 1 minute 20.56, 1 minute 20.56, winning time. Right, we move on to race, uh, the next race, the upright solo final, 312, 27, 174, 226, 351, 143, 364, 37, 22, and 165. Thank you.
Right, the news on Tom Terry actually run out of fuel. So drama indeed there for Tom Terry. He actually run out of fuel going down that back straight. So uh, somebody could be in trouble when Tom gets back into the pits, I would think. races to go then, we've got the upright final, the 500 solo final and the 1000cc right hand side car final. Revving up then for the upright final and that's uh, all two riders there at the start there, it's Calvin Palmer Lee going in the top corner and got red flags around, red flags around two riders, one is Richard Cooper I can see has gone down. the upright solo final and Vincent Peach has made a good start with the riders who went down here and got with Peach going in that top corner General Short making the move round the outside Ian Dudley has made the best of starts there four of us going down the back side Ian got with round the outside Ian Dudley going to the corner of the side Ian Dudley going to the corner of the side into the pit corner for the first time then it's the new lead to the wide running in Guthridge holding that second place position. Calvin Palmer's gone for the third, Gerald Short in four. Chapman is in five to the right of four. On that bottom corner, I think it's Vincent Pace and has gone down the back. It's the fifth time this afternoon. And the end of this, getting away in the front, we're racing on the yellow flag at the moment then. Red flag, red flag around, red flag around. The upright final stop once again. And I think Vincent Priest, he's about the fifth on the south, and it's a bit of dust on that pitch corner. The third time then the upright solo final away, everybody gets away to a clean break this time. And once again Calvin Palmer's made a good start for the team. Guthridge and Leeds going in that top corner Ian Dudley trying to get through on the inside, he gets through on the inside, William Guthridge sweeps back round the outside. Yes he does see it going in the third place, Calvin Palmer holds that fourth place position. As Ian Dudley is the race leader then, but uh, Ian Guthridge holding second, Calvin Palmer in third, General Short in four, Stuart Chapman in five, Richard Cooper in six, Dave Needham in seven. It's George and Emma Nate, that's the top eight, Ian Dudley getting away from the Calvin Short and into that third place, Calvin Palmer in the third place, back round the edge of Gerald Short, tremendous action in the third in fourth places. And Ian Dudley will lead again, but Guthridge holding that second, George, you know, up to third, looking at that second place of Ian Guthridge as Ian Dudley is getting away in the front, tremendous race for the minor place now, and Ian Dudley again sweeps back round the edge of Gerald Short, to reach a second place, George makes the move again on the outside of that fifth corner, and off to go to the second and third, as Ian Dudley leads him on to that four, and George, you know, cuts back for the inside one, and try and get inside Ian Guthridge, he gets inside Guthridge to move from the second place, will Guthridge get back round the outside, again up to that marker, going down that back place, and Guthridge leads him in short in second, Guthridge in third, Palmer in fourth, that's the top five as Ian Dudley once again comes to the repeat of my final. Tremendous race for second and third. Joe Shaw gets the second in. Guthrie is in third. Calvin Palmer is in fourth. Stuart Chapman in fifth. Richard Cooper in sixth. Ian Dudley in seventh. And Ian Dudley is leading the race in the final of the upright.
Show your appreciation there for the uprights who come round on their lap of honour. Tremendous racing as it always is. When you, if you do lift the stakes up on the uh, pits area, be aware that the speakers are fixed to some of the folks and they have cables as well. But show your appreciation there to the uh, uprights. The win for 312 Ian Dudley. Second number 27, Gerald Shaw. And third, 174, Ian Dudley. 226. 351. 364, 37, and 22. One minute 21.22, one minute 21.22. Hey, that's enough. That's a pretty easy deal. They come out then, this should be really intriguing final because Tom has been a revelation. This afternoon we've got Jamie Rogers, we've got Harlan Cook, we've got Jim No, Rod Malcolm, Carl Miles, Darren Drew. So it should be a cracking 500 solo final prize when he goes to 8th place. We look to see Tom Curry again, that familiar position right on the outside. We've got Harlan Cook next to him, Jamie Rogers in towards the middle of the grid. Tim Nose right on the outside with Carl Mall coming in next to him. Darren Drew goes in alongside Harlan Cook. Then we got Stephen Taylor towards the inside and Aaron Pease, the last rider, to choose his position. At the gate should be an interesting first corner. Gate could be crucial. The three youngsters, the four youngsters really, have got the race there. Mercy, all of them to start. Little bit anxious at the start, Barnes come back into position, everybody knows they were crucial to start to be so late in the proceedings. Barnes walk away again, takes four up away, they go, who's made the start? Tom Ferry has made the best of starts, it's Jamie Roger against the corner first, but Tom Ferry making a move around the outside. It's Roger Lee's going to the back straight, Tom Ferry making a move around the outside. Tom Ferry making a move around the outside. Eighth place Darren Drew and ninth place Jason Dewitt. So Jamie Rogers has come good when it mattered in the 500 solo final. Tom Perry and Jamie got to the corner first. Tom made that big move round the outside. Jamie seemed to know exactly where he was. And as they came into this bottom on the fifth corner at the end of lap number one, Tom drifted just slightly off the line. That was a chance that Jamie Rogers needed to get away. But fantastic action between the youngsters. As Aaron, Aaron Pease completes his four laps for the 500 solo final. So show your appreciation. Jamie Rogers leads him round. Tim Noves has picked up the second place. Hectic afternoon for Tom Perry riding the 350s and the 500s. He has picked up the third place there in the 500 solo final. And Cook, another very, very busy afternoon. So uh, Tom's just telling Andy he's not got enough fuel to get home that time. So. Uh, Busy afternoon there for Tom and a tremendous exciting afternoon.
fantastic stuff in the 500 solo final. With the number 71, Jamie Rogers. Second number two, Tim Nodes. And third number one, Tom Perry. Seven, two one one. 91, 127, sorry, 123, 20, 112, and 361. 1 minute 9.47, 1 minute 9.47, and we go then for the final race of the day, the 1000cc sidecar finals. Just to reiterate, riders and spectators, this is a straight final for today's prize money. For the build Base Championship overall, it's the first two legs, plus the heats today, plus the finals, which count for the build Base Championship overall. We'll be doing the raffle immediately after the end of this 1000cc sidecar final. For those you bought raffle tickets, we will be doing the raffle in the uh, presentation area immediately after this final. Right, they come into line then for this 1000cc sidecar final. Rod Winterburn on beat so far. Mark Cosser, Gareth Winterburn, Rob Bradley, Paul Johnson and Phil Sims, the six outfits who wait to come into line. For this 1000cc sidecar final, it's a straight final for today, and points will count towards the Bill Lake Championship as well. Where we go then for this 1000cc sidecar final, they're racing the back straight, the first off, Robin Street, the first off, the first off, the it looks like Rob Bradley is immediately to go into the top corner for the first time. It is Rob Bradley lead from Rob Winderman in second place. Gareth Winderman has got the third. Paul Johnson for Mark Cosser back in about fifth place. The moment Rob Bradley and Sean Simpson lead going up the back straight. Oh, it looks like Gareth Winderman is going to the back of the moment. Paul's on the middle of the track. As it is Rob Bradley lead yet for Rob Winderman holding the second place. Completely complete lap number two. Paul Johnson third. Mark Cosser up the fourth. Paul Simpson five. Gareth Winderburn is in section, Rob Winderburn hunting down Rob Bradley now, they go on the back straight once again. Paul Johnson hands on to the third place, Rob Bradley. Rob Winderburn trying to find a way through on the inside. Rich Bradley and Lee's there for Winderburn holding that second place. Johnson's got the third. Carson is in four, Rob Bradley's gone wide, Rob Winderburn trying to get through on the inside. Second Rob Winderburn, third place Paul Johnson, fourth is Mark Cossum, coming back to fifth is Gareth Winderburn, sixth place it is Phil Sims. So a fabulous 1000cc sidecar final and it's former Masters champion Rob Bradley and Sean Sims to win the final for today. Rod Winderburn completely missed the start there, was away in about fourth place, chased after them, got up to second place and really made Rob Bradley work really hard there for the last three laps of a superb sidecar final. So show your appreciation for the thousand chairs I'll come round on their lap of honour. The result I will give you will be the result of today's final, not the Bill Base Championship. Will marshals and ambulance personnel please hold your positions? There is a late practice for a thousand sidecar, please. So show your appreciation. They come round the lap of honour. Tremendous thousand cc sidecar final, and the lads going round. So show your appreciation. Tremendous sidecar final. Just seen them led round by. It looks like. Uh, Mark Cosser comes around there with Rod Winderburn, Rod Winderburn on the inside, Mark Cosser with Andy Wilson in the uh, chair for that final there. Paul Johnson, good to see Paul with us, with Rick McCauley, the winner of that final, Rob Bradley and the Sean Simpson, Phil Sims, Gareth Benister, tremendous afternoon this afternoon. So show your appreciation there for the lads that go back into the pits.
There is one late practice, please. Will marshals and ambulance personnel hold your positions? The result as they cross the line today. The winner number 87, Rob Bradley, Sean Simpson. Second number 48, Rod Winderburn and Liam Brown. And third number 7, Paul Johnson and Rick McCauley. 37, 49, and number 8. 1 minute 9.28. 1 minute 9.28. Please stop on for the raffle and the presentations. Right, we'll start off then with the pre-75s. In sixth place, Dave Needham. Dave Needham for sixth place. Morris, please don't go away. Please don't go too far away. Thank you. Okay. Morris Jones in fifth place. In fourth place, Ian Goodrich. On then to the top three. In third place in the pre-75s, Calvin Palmer. In second place, Gerald Short. And the winner of the pre 75s this afternoon, the British champion in 2009, Dave Norris. Is it right? So first, second and third in the pre-74, we're just trying to have a quick we're the winner of all the, all the classes. I'm a bit slow. Yeah, we know. Mummy! I'm cheeky. Oh, sorry. Can I go now, miss? Yes, Right then, quick word with Dave. Dave, Dave, quick word. It won't reach any far, let's have one of these, Dave. Gerald made you work hard and Calvin made you work really hard again this afternoon, didn't they? Yeah, they did, yeah. Gerald was back with old self. Uh, but like the fact, the... Uh, what's the short? Went on a brilliant show. Uh, there you go. Worst from Dave Norris. Brilliant show the Worcester Club. Thank you very much indeed, Dave. Right, we move on then to the 250s. This is the overall position. In six plates with 22 points, Sam Carville. In fifth place, good to see him racing in the seniors. 22 points, Lloyd Barrett. He was hobbling earlier. I've just been told he was hobbling you know, rather badly earlier, but he's got to fifth place we like to come up. So fourth place, 26 points, Ben Isley. On then to the top three, another young man just come out of youth racing. Third place, 32 points, Craig Drury. In second place, second today with 40 points. We congratulate him on two weeks ago. Superb performance, become British 250 champion. Second today with 40 points, Harlan Cook. And the winner of the 250s, fantastic performance, four rides, four wins. What more can you say? First place, 250s, Georgie Wood. Just have a quick word with Georgie. Georgie. <laughs> Must be delighted. You've raced the British champion four times this afternoon. You've beaten him four times. Over the moon, it's a week too late, really. <laughs> oh. 
Now you're going to stick with the 250s next year or are you going to move up a couple of classes? I'm going to stick with the 250s, learn a bit more, have a bit of fun and then move on. And so Harlan, you have to look out next year, you're looking at that 250 ground next year? Yeah, we have to. Ladies and gentlemen, fantastic performance, George Wood. On then to the 500 sidecar, six places has already been collected, so we start off with fifth place, Richard Hollandale and Paul Smith. Fourth place, Gary Southgate and Laura Callison. I'm in to the top three in the 500 sidecars. Third place, Barry Bennett, Ivan Hughes. <laughs> in second place, tremendous performance, Dave Carver and Carl Webb. <laughs> and the winners of the 500 sidecars this afternoon won absolutely fantastic performance. Unbeaten in the heats, won the final from the back. The new British champions, Nick and Abby Radley. Okay, there you go, we have a quick word with Nick and Abby as they come down. Chasing you next year, mate. Good man. First of all, Nick, many, congrat you many, many congratulations. British champion two weeks ago, fantastic performance there. An equally impressive performance this afternoon. Yeah, I quite enjoyed ourselves really. I've had like a little small track or smallish, but um, compared to the other week, but it's still rover. Nick, he completely, uh, Abby, he completely missed the start in that final, didn't he? He, he, made, he had to work up the final. Yeah, we did. I got a bit worried, to be honest. I looked over and saw uh, Dave and Gary and. Oh, what's happened here? I think I uh, might have had a gearbox problem again, but yeah, we worked hard and got it back, so yeah. Dave made you work for that final, didn't he, Dave Carver? Yeah, he did, yeah. I mean, uh, you know, he made a good start, we didn't, and uh, yeah, just have to, you know, press on with it, and uh, he, was, he rode better actually on the outside of the top there, and I told, told Dave that afterwards, so uh, I was quite pleased about that. And just to reassure you, we've got in touch with Gary Appleby. You are definitely in for Beauty next week, no problems. Lovely, there you me. go. If you've enjoyed it today, watch it with Beauty next week. The Fit Five Minute Sidecar Champions, Nick and Abby Radley. Right, 350 solos, sixth place, Rob Thomas. Rob Thomas for sixth place. He's gone, I think. I think he's gone. Fifth place, Steve Dowling. Fourth place, tremendous performance on the 250, Jack Hargreaves. He's a point, so Jack has got 29 points in the fourth form scoring line. Steve Dowling 21, Rob Thomas 18. In third place in the 350s, 34 points, Chris Gre Ricky Gregory. In second place <clears throat> in the 350s, 42 points. We thank you for making a long journey down here today. Did have a meeting very close to home. They chose to come down here. It's worked for them. Second place, 42 points. Andrew Whitaker. <clears throat> and 
And the winner of the 350s by just one point showed how important it was to push home for that fourth place. We'll have a word and see what Tom has actually said to Dad about that. The winner of the 350s, 43 points, superb performance, Tom Perry. Okie dokie. Thank you very much indeed, Jim. Have a quick word with Tom. Tom, we know you've got a 500 race coming up quickly. We thought you were taking it easy going down that back straight and lap number four. What exactly were your thoughts? My thoughts? I thought my dad put fuel in. That's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's been a good day. I don't know, I just had to roll and run. Didn't I? It was the last thing you needed to push uphill when you got that 500 race coming up a couple of races time, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, it was not good. <laughs> <laughs> I just showed how important it was because that fourth place got your victory by one point overall. Yeah. Now, can you tell us in your own words, and be careful there are children and ladies here, <laughs> what exactly you said to your dad when you got back in the pits and knew you were running the fuel? Yeah. Careful. Oh, I can't say. <laughs> <laughs> it was that bad, was it? No, no, I didn't shout. No, I don't shout my dad. There you go, superb rider, Tom Perry, 350 winner this afternoon, thank you very much indeed. Right then, on to the upright, sixth place, Dave Needham, second award of the afternoon. Fifth place goes to Stuart Chapman. Fourth place, another rider picking up his second award of the afternoon, Calvin Palmer. <laughs> Top three, another superb performance, Ian Guthridge. <laughs> his second award of the afternoon. In second place, another rider I'm coming up here for the second time, Gerald Short, second place. <laughs> And the winner of the upright solos, Ian Dudley. Ron, we're talking Ian Guthridge here. What's the point of saying nice smile? Are you okay? <laughs> Everybody happy? Okay, right now then, we'll have a quick word with Ian. The major work hard for it today. And uh, you had a different line to everybody else, Tom was taking the inside in that top corner. You had a different line to everybody else, they were around the outside, you rode the inside of that top end. I know, I think it's a second uh, third reload. I can get the gate where I want to, so I have no choice. It's a completely different line for me. Gerald Short and uh, Ian really made you work hard on that final again, didn't they? Oh, they did, yeah. There you go, your upright winner, Ian Dudley. Yeah. Point from Rick Solos then. In eighth place, oh. Darren Drew. Yeah, thank you. Come on, Darren. In seventh place, great to see him back racing again. Stephen Taylor. In sixth place, Rod Melksham. In fifth place, Carl Morris. In fourth place, his second award of the afternoon, Harlan Cook. In 
second place, Tim Nose. We missed third, sorry Tim, sorry. Sorry, we missed for that, do apologise for that. In third place is second award, Tom Pelly. Sorry Tom. Sorry about that, Tom. In second place, Tim Nose. Happy birthday to Tim as well for the day. 23 today for Tim, so very happy birthday to Tim. He's 23 today. And the winner of the 500 solo superb performance, Jamie Rogers. Three very, very talented youngsters on the roster there. The future of grass track looks very bright as long as we've got talented riders like this filling the first three places. Okie dokie. Right, I'm a bit more of a Jamie man of very few words I know. Jamie, fabulous afternoon's racing. These two young men made you work really hard this afternoon. Yeah, especially Tommy made me work out in the first couple of races. Uh, found it really hard to start with, but uh, we got the bike set up for the final and uh, all was good. Crucial, you made the start of the final. Tom didn't make the best of starts, so that was crucial, wasn't it? Yeah, I knew uh, if they got in front of him, he'd have to catch, but uh, we made the start, we got there first, and uh, whatever happened after that was what happened. Overall, you must be delighted with your achievements. You had a tremendous season in 2009. Yeah, we've had a good year, uh, second in Masters, uh, one in the 21. Yeah, it's been okay, it's been expensive, but you know, race it is. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, your 500 winner this afternoon. Tremendous morning. Jamie Rogers. Right, I'd like to see a three before we go on to the guys and sidecars. Tom and Pauline Broad, please. Tom and Pauline Broad, can you come forward? Now, Tom is a great follower of grass trap racing. Pauline, as we know, does the, uh, does the flags for us. They do have a shield they produce every year, and there's a few bob to go with the shield. So uh, it's going to be presented. They think this may be the last class that they'll go to this season. So Tom, it's in there all carefully wrapped up for you. So to receive this award, they always go for somebody that's given them a great deal of pleasure during the course of the racing season. So to receive the award in 2009, the Tom and Pauline Broad Shield goes to Morris Jones. So this is something they do every year and it's riders, not necessarily a superstar, but something that's given them an awful lot of pleasure during the course of the 2009 season. And Morris Jones has been the rider that's going to be awarded the award this afternoon. Right, uh, well done Morris there, uh, and uh, must be delighted to receive that shield for 2009, Morris. Yeah, very nice, uh, very unexpected. Thank you to Tom and Pauline. There you go, the Tom and Pauline broad shield winner is Morris Jones for 2009. Can we have Tim Nose back please? Tim Nose, could you come back please? Tim Nose. Tim Nose. Tim Nose. Just, just, just read the Can we have Mr. Rob Lee forward please? Mr. Rob Lee. <coughs> Mr. Rob Lee, please. This gentleman, where is he? I'm told he's coming through. Is the man who owns this field. So please, big round of applause for Mr. Rob Lee because the circumstances have conspired against the man of God. They put out on top today. He's helped with all the work to the road and the field. So many, many congratulations, Rob. Now you are here and you've been saying your own words. You have chosen your rider of the day for today. Over to you. Thank you. Oh, yeah, going. Um, it's all been very, very close. I think you're all absolutely well, right. Turn uh, it on. 
It is on. It is on. I can hear it. Push it up. Keep your lips up to it. Right up there. That's better. Yeah. I think you're all absolutely mad. You're very, very competitive. Um, very close. Why? Number two, I think, is the one for me. That's Tim Noakes. Okay, we thank Rob Lee again for you for the super facility run. Can I have a quick word with Tim? Hi. 23 years young today, Tim is. Tim, uh, tremendous racing in the 500s. Yeah, it was. I mean, Tom, Tom, a bit, Tom, been the, Tom, been, the, been the, me, Jamie, but Tom has been the man to beat to start off with today. But come the final, I mean, I had a terrible start. I, mean, I, I don't know why, but I just don't make starts in finals. I think it makes it more fun but I don't like to but in the end of the day Jamie was gone I got past Tom and I thought sorry to disappoint you but I didn't want to have a big battle with Jamie because I'm riding with him in the pairs in a fortnight's time so we'll be doing it there together as a team and any special plans for tonight 23 years young um no nah, just I had, I had my little party Friday night but I think well we'll see now see what they've got, got a surprise for me. <laughs> there you go, 23 today, Royal of the Day. Yeah. Tim Noakes, fantastic performance. <laughs> right, the Bill Bates have not only sponsored the 1,000cc sidecars this season, they've also had a 500 solo rider of the day. This again, like the Bill Bates sidecar championship has gone through for the three complete rounds. Coming out on top after three rounds, a young man Rides in all the meetings, big and small. He's improved leaps and bounds in 2008 and 2009. Probably the biggest winning award of his career. Big round of applause, please. Carl Moss! Okay, quick word, Carl. Many, many congratulations. Probably yes. the highlight of your career so far. Uh, yeah, not expected to be fair. I didn't think I was in contention, and then uh, thought Tom had nicked it. So, yeah, well chuffed. What was your view of those three young men hairing round in front of you? Things like maybe fourth or fifth in that final. Really was some hair raising stuff, wasn't it? Yeah, they're psychopaths, aren't they, the youngsters? So <laughs> I just wish I was as fit as them, but yeah. Yeah, it was good. good to finish it. There you go, your Bill Bates solo rider, Carl Miles, many congratulations. Right then, the 1,000cc sidecars, this is today's result. This is a result for today. In sixth place, Phil Sims and Gareth Bemister. In fifth place, what an exciting prospect this young man is. He's done about six metres on the grass to drive. He's done one on the speedway. My word, Dad's going to have to watch out next year. Fifth place, Gareth Winderburn and Ben Malloy. In fourth place today, Mark and Tom Cosser. In third place, we don't see him here too often in this neck of the woods. He's uh, been great excitement again today. Paul Johnson and Rick McCauley. Greg Hancock drinks relentless now. <laughs> <laughs>
All right, go on. Yeah, well done. All right, go Rick. Thank you. 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 Thank in second place today, Rod Winterburn and Liam Brown. Congratulations. Okay. And the winners of the 1,000cc sidecars this afternoon, Rod Bradley and Sean Simpson. Okay then, thank you very much indeed. Well, yeah, quick, we were Robert Shaw. Right now, in all seriousness, before we congratulate him today, I think we need a big round of applause. This gentleman and his club two weeks ago saved the British Championship. The track was absolutely phenomenal, as it would be with Rob Halford delaying. So please, a big round of applause for Rob Bradley and the Pickering Club for saving the British Championship. <laughs> Rob, you must be delighted with it today. Uh, surprised, I think, yeah, because I mean, watching uh, our uh, Rod and Mark and, and Gareth, Gareth just keeps surprising me. It scares me a little bit, to be honest. Um, but, I mean, every race is different, and today every race had good riders in it, so we just had to uh, try and make the best of what was there, and, and the final we got the start, and it just seemed to all come together. Sean, back to William Ways today. Yeah, it's about time, isn't it? You know, um, we've been getting a little bit demoralised just lately, you know, with results, because we're trying everything and nothing's working, you know, and we haven't changed nothing on the bike, which is, well, why ain't it working? I think tracks are changing all the time now, there's more drive, and you've got to alter things so much. But um, like Rob said, it um, come really good in the final and we held on there and rid of socks off. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your 1000 CC sidecar winner today, Rob Bradley and Sean Simpson. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> right, we move on to the big results now, the 1000 CC sidecar championship. The Bill Bates championship raced over the course of the season, three terrific rounds and the results are as follows. In sixth place, with 32 points, Steve Smith and Dave Hogan. Right, in fifth place, and this, as Rob said, this is really the crew to watch. In fifth place, Gareth Winderburn and Ben Malloy, 33 points. What do we want there? Uh, yeah, we all got that message, Gareth, please. Fifth place. In fourth place overall with 39 points, Rob Bradley and Sean Simpson. Congratulations. 
Okay, for now, gentlemen, please. In second place, 53 points, Masters Champions, Mark and Tom Cosser. of the Build Base Championship for 2009 for the 1000 cc sidecars, so often the brides may but never the bride, they're top of the pile this afternoon with 64 points, Northern Invaders, Rod Winterburn and Liam Brown. Must be delighted, top of the podium this afternoon. Yeah, did you expect anything else? <laughs> uh, yeah, we've struggled today a little bit. Uh, that's why I went out and got a spike at the, in the end. I just, I'm just wondering how he's getting and going like he is and getting the results. So I thought, well, I'm going to have a do on this bike. And it's one of my old bikes from about 10 years ago. And uh, it rides better than mine. Liam, delighted with that? Yeah. I've uh, had a good day and uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's just been spot on today. I've enjoyed every minute of it. Rob, as Rob, as Rob Bradley said, your son is the man to watch. He's not. He's done about five meetings on the grass, one on the speedway. He's an absolute revelation behind that machine, isn't he? Yeah, but he might not do as well next time when I take his bike off him and use it myself. <laughs> Interesting, you rode two different bikes today. You don't usually use a red bike, but I saw you the red bike in one of the heats today. Yeah, I've done some alterations on it, but they didn't work, so I put it back in the van. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2009 Bill Base champions, Rod Winderburn and Liam Brown. Final word with Mr. Clark, please, from Bill Base. We hope you've enjoyed it today, and we thank you once again very much for your superb sponsorship of this event. That's not a problem at all. Uh, I think this is about the fourth or fifth of these uh, meetings I've been to. I think they're uh, superbly put on. Uh, great effort from all the riders. Fantastic day. And I truly hope that we'll be back next year. There you go. We hope she's back next year. A big, big round of applause for Bill Bates. <coughs> it's not easy to get sponsored for this day and age. And it is a fantastic sponsor that Bill Bates put forward for Worcester Grass Track Club. Thank you very, very much indeed. Don't forget Beaudley next week, an all-star entry, right. another all-star entry at Lancashire on the 1st of November. Thank you very much indeed. Have a safe journey home. Thank you. Winterburn's again trying to get through on the inside. Gareth Winterburn does go through on the inside. Gary Jackson holds right. Gareth Winterburn trying to get through on the inside. What a ride by Gareth, Gareth Winterburn. This is Dave Cargill lead going down the back straight. Once again, they Revving up then for the upright final. And that's uh, all two riders there at the start there. Sorry, has made the best of starts. It's Jamie Roger against the corner first with Tom Ferry making a move around the outside. It's Roger Lee's going to the back straight. Tom Ferry making a move around the outside. Two riders between these two. They're driving the lane. Three riders between these two. Rob Bradley going to win the final today. Rob Bradley wins it. Second Rob Winderburn. Third place Paul John.